church. We got to press in until we get the anointing that we need to be the church that God's called us to be. It's not going to fall out of heaven. I don't care how many prophets have preached it. I don't know. I care how many words have preached it. The word says, if you seek me, you will find me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to seek him. We have to be determined. Do we want this thing that's, that's on our calling for this church? Do we want it or not? Because we can have this. But we have to be determined. And we have to be collectively determined. Pastor said we're fragmented. We have to stop this nonsense. Amen. See, because when we became Christians, we gave up the right to be black. We gave up the right to be white. We gave up the right to be male. We gave up the right to be female. We gave up the right to be American. We gave up the right to be Jamaican, Panamanian, Haitian, whatever we are. We became members of a royal priesthood, a holy generation. And we are not of this world. So it's time for us to act like brothers and sisters and be determined about this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have faith in God. Be courageous. Be determined to rob the enemy's camp and fill heaven. Jesus said, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It's thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden underfoot. So if we will take God at his word, if we will step out with courage and determination, you know what the Bible says? Signs will follow. Demons will be cast out. And the sick will be healed. And many will come into the kingdom. You know what happened after 9-11? Churches got filled up. Every seat was full because they were coming to find out where the refuge was. They were coming because they were unglued by what had happened. Things are not too much better today than they were on 9-11. The threat is still there. But because nothing else has happened in the last eight years, we're back to just, you know, let's just come on in. But you know what else? A lot of them said, we didn't find the answer in the church. And that's a sad state of affairs. When we had an opportunity to fill every pew and give them the hope that they needed and they couldn't find it. And I'm not just talking about Silver Spring, I'm talking about the body of Christ. They found politics, they found programs, they found folks asking them for money, they found everything but the Lord of glory himself. Because once you tasted the glory, you can never go back. You can't just walk away from it. You can never go back. Unless you just, you know, decided you're going to choose hell. Yes. Folks, we have to remember that hell is a real place. Yes. Amen. 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 It's a place of constant, endless, eternal torment. Yes. So if you love your friends and your family enough, love them enough, to snatch him out of the jaws of hell. Amen? We got to tell this thing. We got to tell this thing.
correct me. This is a way, it's, in fact, it's the only way that we can demonstrate God's love to the lost and the only service that really matters to God. So if we're equipped, if we're called, and you truly call yourselves a Christian, and I'm speaking to myself as well, we have to tell them. God bless you.